Right, I'm now ready to start on the uh, track bed. Um, and what I've done so far is I've marked out um, a one and a half inch wide track bed where the, uh, the, the main bridges are, or the complicated bridges are. We've got two bridges and then one on the one track on the, on the base. Um, but what I've done is I've drawn a one, in, one and a half inch width track bed for, for each of those three tracks, uh, but keeping them all together because I want to use this as a template um, for, for making each of these three sections. Last cut along there, a bit across there, and hopefully that will be intact. Right. Now I'm going to use that as a template um, for each of the three track beds. And uh, I'm using foam core board, which is, I think it's three millimetres thick, which is going to be for the, uh, the actual bed. Just use that as a template. And all I need to do is to mark off each one carefully. Now we need to cut out these three parts. Three. That will be up there somewhere. That one will be about there. And the other one be down there somewhere, so that'd be quite interesting. So what we have now is um, enough track bed here to make a complete circuit, so I can test that out. The, the, uh, the rear gradient is quite steep, but I've already tested that locomotive and, and a reasonable sized train. The rest of the layout of the track bed is of a less grade so obviously there's no problem there at all. Uh, I've made one or two compromises in that using the track diagram on, on the baseball when I had paper there it's not going to be exactly the same as what you end up with because something which is flat and then is turned into a grade it's going to be less length um, but I've compensated for that as I went around I just adjusted the, the size of it so it all fits together um, so we're all ready now to get some track laid I think and just see something running which is, is always good I think it's fair to say just for the record that trying to use flexible track in such tight curves as this is a, a test of anyone's patience because he really doesn't like it. Um, <clears throat> trying to join the ends up, well one one connection took me an, an hour trying to get it together with, without it springing back all the time. Um, even pinning it down, gluing it down, it didn't like it at all. But I got there in the end, I think I won. Um, I'm using clamps, I'm using pins, I'm using glue and uh, still it's struggling but it's giving in I think. That's where we are at the moment. I quite like it. Looks a bit unreal but um, life is I think.